A lot of news coming out of Comic Con this weekend. Yeah, I agree. We did not attend. No, we no, chose goodness. not to. And this is why, because we have all of the things that all those people saw without having to be anywhere near them. Yeah, yeah. right here. They released this reel for the upcoming Star Wars movie. I'm excited for a Star Wars movie again. It feels like being a kid again if I was a kid in the late 70s. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. that good. That's magical. The music is new, but it feels mm -hmm. familiar, and I hope it's in the movie. They're all mumbling, oh, it's a Star Wars movie. It's a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Real sets. Practical effects. It really feels like they're going out of their way to shit on George Lucas by not without but not actually mentioned. saying George Lucas. We have real sets. It's all very practical. Not okay. like other movies you've perhaps seen. Right. Look at this ugly puppet we made. Yeah. We're doing it right. Yeah. Like that. that was Mark <laughs> Hamill, you insensitive <laughs> creep. No mention of George Lucas at all. They don't even say like, oh yeah, this was created by a person. Yeah. It was like the magic of Star Wars that just appeared <laughs> in our lives. And yet, keeping one foot in the pre-digital world. They're showing us yeah. that it's shot on film stuff. It's important to some people that it's shot on film. That's fine. It seems like it's way easier to not shoot on film. There is green screen. It's right there. I can die now. Right. It's like the guy playing the stormtrooper said that he could die now, which is statistically very likely. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of lighting shit up for no reason. <laughs> this is look cool. Remember Star Wars? <laughs> what am I doing? My whole life has led to this moment. I'm in heaven. Simon Pegg is in this movie. That's a scoop, right? Did we scoop yeah. that? Just got scoops. Look, it's Chewy, everybody. I think we've worn the suit out. How many free drinks has he gotten in his life with the noise? <laughs> like, how many? <laughs> Probably more than I get when I make that noise places. <laughs> I just show up to my favorite bar and I go <laughs> You don't get to build an X-Wing every day or a Millennium Falcon. I just want Millennium Falcon blueprints. Yeah. I just want to have that as like wall art. That's cool. I want that as a ride. I want to be able to yeah. do that and have some weird guy in a trailer pilot it for me. That's fine. <laughs> Weird that they put a helicopter in this movie. Yeah, I think well, it's crossing over into our world now. Oh, the finally. time, the time is gonna line up. Right. They're gonna end one of the trailers, and I'll be like, "All right, I'm gonna go back to pilot the Millennium Falcon." It was great to meet you, President Reagan. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll know. There are uh, there are ducks in Star Wars. There are ducks in Star Wars. Yeah. What do you mean? In the <laughs> <laughs> Alex is right. <laughs> in the uh, in the official like novelization of Star Wars, Obi Wan's talking to Luke, and he's like, "Oh yeah," he compares something to a duck. And Luke's like, what's a duck? He's like, ah, I'll tell you some other time. And I would like to think that in the Star Wars universe, having been to Earth is like having been to Europe. Like you lord it over other people. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, oh, you haven't been to Earth? Mm. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> Flapping my gums like a couple of ducks you wouldn't understand. Yeah. <laughs> in the same room as all these legends and with all these new people who I'm sure will go on to be legends themselves. A Star Wars movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a minion. It looks a little like a minion. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. What it's, kind of scheme is that minion up to? <laughs> Carrie Fisher's going to f*** J.J. Abrams. <laughs> You just know what it's gonna be like in the cinema. It's really crazy to me that I've never seen her speak. Like, I'm actually in love with her now. I can't. Like, instantly. Yeah, it's yeah. it's she, insane how quickly that happened. If you right. tell me she's 15, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> They're just really harping on how not the prequels this movie yeah, is. Right. They don't, they don't show a dumpster where they're throwing the last of the Gungan stuff, but that's about <laughs> but the only minutes. step they don't take. All right, what else came out of Comic-Con? We got Batman Superman Dawn of Justice trailer. I'm gonna yeah. go to sleep for the next hour and I'll come back when we're done with this. <laughs> it is gloomy as fuck. Even Gloom. the Warner Brothers logo doesn't need to be gray. Today is a day for truth. How's Superman entering the building? Because he's capable of flying. He can yeah. go anywhere, but he lands back to them, right in front of them. Like, yeah. what's up? Didn't yeah. land on the stairs, just landed. Lands, and I was like, oh, I gotta go and do some yeah. stairs. Put on a suit, really? Superman. <laughs> I'm court of goddamn law. <laughs> she is a senator. Oh, here's Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. Oh, good. Watching this building get destroyed. Who are you calling Fred there, Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Right. Also, why Alfred, you... there's lasers shooting out of our building. <laughs> oh, well, better do something about that then. Yeah, running towards his own death? It's yeah. Dangerous. Oh, you found a child. Impossibly. His powers don't include, like, imperviousness to yeah. dust. Buildings oh, falling yeah. on him. <laughs> Where's Aquaman? He's supposed to be in this, right? Aquaman? He's supposed Dozens to be in this. killed. That's not a whole lot for a building collapse. 
That's insane. Did you see that newspaper? Oh my goodness. That could be a story about what auto a coup accidents. Daylight. On the spectrum of building collapses. Goodness gracious. Because <laughs> for a while they, it seemed like Batman was coming out of retirement because Superman is so powerful and we need to stop him. Yeah. But it's really, he just destroyed his tower. It's like right. much pettier. <laughs> right. He's, like, He's got to be stopped. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what the right thing is. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. Clark Kent versus Batman. It's some other thing versus Batman. <laughs> is this like a period thing? They're, they work in a newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. People don't care about Clark Kent versus Batman or print media. <laughs> <laughs> Seen that shot in so many Supersmen. Just holding stuff. Yeah. And there's never... The thing is too big yet. Right? right? Like, that's... Right, he that would be the new oh. So far, it's always like, oh, Superman, yeah, he lifted the thing because he's Superman. Yeah, it took a little longer. There's never been one where he's like, nope, this is the one! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go to war. Where the f*** is Batman now? I hate this movie. He is not our enemy. Lex like, Luthor does a whole lot of yeah, he's framing things yeah. with his hands. <laughs> Thank God they spent all that time explaining Batman's motivation and, like, a fraction of a second saying, hey look, Wonder Woman's in it too. <laughs> right. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. If you watch closely, this movie also went to great pains to not mention George Lucas at all. <laughs> I really hope Batman gives up then. Like he just stands up. You know what I was wrong? This is, you're clearly fine. <laughs> you ripped the doors right off! I have to deal with this now. I Really like Jesse Eisenberg, and when he does the Red Capes Are Coming, yeah, I'm so embarrassed for him. He got Lex Luthor in a Batman movie. That's a cool gig, and he's like, oh, I got to do something weird and eccentric with it. Oh, you missed, yeah. buddy. They're making you say those things, and you're saying them like that. Yeah. <laughs> and he did this between magician heist movies, right? <laughs> <laughs> what else happened? What else does everybody remember from Comic Con? There was uh, Brian Cranston uh, took down a fan in a big way. Took down a fan. Yeah. Took well, him down, here's yeah. the headline owned that him. I saw over owned and over him. again: is owned Albuquerque him. guy gets owned by Brian Cranston. <laughs> Albuquerque guy. <laughs> Kid grew up in Albuquer Albuquerque. Clearly a child. <laughs> clearly nervous. It's my hometown. He's yeah, he's terrified. Let's yeah, show. I'm a big fan. Such a huge fan. How, how was it? Because <laughs> it's my hometown. <laughs> so I want to know how'd you like it? Well, did you have fun there? <laughs> yeah, I'd go and visit your mother once in a while. <laughs> This is an incredibly rude thing to do. I mean, it's, it's funny. Man, the crowd's eating it up. Yeah. <laughs> that kid <laughs> gets owned? I don't understand owned. what that guy's crime was. Right, it's, getting owned is like, yeah, this guy was a real dick to right. me, and I said it back right to him. A target deserves ridicule and derision, and then receives it, right. and then we clap. Yeah. I traveled two states and slept outside for two sure. nights to be in this room. It is so wildly expensive to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> he didn't think. For a second, yeah. it's like, well, I could do a mom joke right now. I could say, I f his mom. Yeah, I f his mom. I f your mom. <laughs> Guy just had an experience that probably made him feel very small, and then he walked out of that room into like the biggest human crush in America. Yeah. Like, just <laughs> such as. Just such walked such out the door and like nine Deadpools strutting around. Like, I, I can't. Can't right now. Um, any other questions? No, none of us have any other questions, Mr. Okay. Why would we ever ask Courts. you anything ever again? I released a bunch of other Comic Con trailers. trailers. They're all like shaky. I don't know, as a public service announcement to people who film trailers at Comic Con, what are you fucking doing? The rest of us are counting on you. Also, it, like, super easy, these, just one of these. We're trying to watch the Suicide Squad one, and as soon as Harley Quinn shows up, this maniac eats, eats his phone. <laughs> just can't, can't handle how excited he is. Oh, another Comic Con well skipped. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe, click here to watch some other videos. Have a good day. Those are the things. You win. It's five bucks. <laughs>